guys, so today I'm going to do a review for the book Cracks um, by Sheila Kohler. Leslie had found the trailer for the movie that based off the book a while ago, and we both thought the book kind of looked interesting. But in all the other states I lived in, I couldn't get a hold of the book, and um, I don't think she can get a hold of it um, where she lives. But finally, when I moved back to PA, I was able to get a hold of a copy at a library, and finally able to read it. So I thought I would share my review of it for you, Leslie, and for ever who else is interested, and um, in case you want to read it. I'm not giving away any spoilers in this, so no need to worry about me spoiling the ending or any major plot things for you. So the book takes place at this all-girls school in South Africa, and it focuses on the swim team there. And the head coach is this teacher named Miss G. And all the girls kind of have like a lady crush on her. And everyone kind of wants to be like her favorite student and swimmer. And this girl, Fiamma, comes in and instantly becomes like Miss G's favorite. And she kind of looks like Avila from Harry Potter. Like she's got super blonde hair and bright blue eyes and she's really pale. And Miss G becomes like infatuated with her, but uh, Fiamma isn't having her like at all. So Miss G kind of goes down into like a downward spiral and it kind of puts the rest of the team in like a bad mood and they start losing like swimming competitions and stuff. And so the team kind of like is like just hook up with her and get it over with so she can be nicer to everybody else. And so there's this party that happens and everyone kind of gets drunk and loosey-goosey. Um, events transpire that lead up to Fayama's disappearance. And I'm not really spoiling anything for you by telling you that Fayama disappears because from the very beginning of the book it's apparent that um, Fayama disappeared at one point. Uh, in fact, the part of the book takes place where all the girls are much older and they come back to the school as like kind of like a weird reunion kind of thing and it doesn't really become clear at the end why exactly they're there and the reason they give is kind of vague. But um, and the book kind of starts off telling you that Fama disappeared. Um, I thought this book was pretty good. Uh, I gave it like four out of five stars. The details were really good. Um, and I found it really interesting that the, the voice of the story or whoever was telling the story, um, they don't ever really address her as a character, but you know she's part of the team and you know that like, she's part of the goings on, but she never like comes out as like a character and nobody ever really talks to her so I've never seen that in a story before where the the voice of the story the storyteller was like a character too but nobody focused on the person telling the story if that makes sense at all and I also found it kind of cool that the author of the story is like the actual writer of the book was a character in the story and I kind of kept my eye open to see if they focus on her a little more as a character, just because she's the author, but they they kind of spread the details out equally among the characters. Um, a couple things I disliked about the book, uh, in between some of the, there's big chapters, but then there's like littler separated chapters. Um, in between those, they have these poems, and at first it really throws you off, and I was like, I'm not going to like this, but after a while they kind of like fade out or like blend the story a little bit. It was just kind of annoying, like, I felt like they could have done without the little poems in there. They're really short, they're only, like, maybe four stanzas long, but still. And then, like, as the book goes on, as it nears the climax of the story, they kind of, at the e top of each, like, sub-chapter, or, like, little paragraph, they bullet, like, what's, like, a main point of, of what's going on, and, like, as they kind of got closer to the climax, they put more and more of those in and separate. It was like they were trying to build up the drama towards, like, the final climactic moment, which was kind of annoying. As they were building up the climax, I got annoyed because I thought that they weren't ever going to get to, like, how Fayama disappeared. So I was, like, going to be pissed about that. Um, as I said, it the girls are visiting the school and they're much older, so the beginning of the story is kind of like a little bit of flashback and kind of when they introduce the girls presently and in the past most of the story like 90% of the story is told like through a flashback like them going over what had happened when they were younger but in the beginning it kind of throws you off when they go back and forth between the flashback and the present 
Um, so now that I've read the book, I went back through and watched the movie trailer to see how the book would stack up against it or if I want to see the movie. And um, I think I might be annoyed with watching the movie now because it strays a little bit too far from the book, from what I've seen in the trailer. Um, like, Fiamma is supposed to, like I said, look like Avila, and she's, I get, and she's supposed to be from Italy. Um, but they make her, like, dark-haired and dark-eyed and, um... She's from Spain, apparently, in the movie. How they get the climax to kind of start happening toward Fama's disappearance. In the movie trailer, she's like, oh, the, the teacher's like, Fama's gonna spread lies about me, you guys have to do something, but that's not how it really comes about in the book. And I feel like in the book, it become, it's like more natural the way, like it's more believable that a girl would disappear this way than like, oh, a teacher like planting seeds, like, really overtly. But I mean, I'm willing to give the movie a shot. I just might be a little bit annoyed because I always hate it when movies and books really diverge from each other a lot. <laughs> um, I definitely recommend the book to you, Leslie. It's short and it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's not like one of my favorite books, but I mean, it's worth reading. Um, and I think you might like it, possibly. So yeah, I thought it was pretty good. And I hope if you pick it up and are able to read it, that you like it.